Hello guys, this is Abhishek Bharti here from AV Studio. And in this video, I'm gonna show you the review of the newly from made by the developers Lisa Multi the dot unicorns and call the AOS IP ROM to see here the AOS IP it is a AOS IP based ROM and having a substantial theme engine so you can download the substantial app from the play store and can you use it as your theme engine so first of all if you get into the wrong the settings you will go here so you can see that uh, this is basic settings of and here is something uh, extra called the owl nests so here are all the options and the tweaks of the wrong so there is status bar so you can add a logo here you can change customize the colors and, and you can also add a custom logo then there is battery you can just uh, and it will look like a portrait or a circular or you can add percentage or cut out like if the, uh, the percentage reaches if the battery level indicator which is the percentage uh, the, uh, the percentage will hide or it will show according to your need you can also add the animations and if you customize the carrier level you can show it on lost screen you can show it everywhere or you can just type a custom carry level with this clock options basics okay, we have seen in many custom rooms you can also uh, choose color for different specs of the notifications and you can either you can go traffic so you can use the output and download screen then today in these quick settings you can blur the background if you just put it on you see that the background gets blur switch it off i think gets blurred out so there is service settings new level it uh, it will show you uh, it will actually show you the you know uh, the temperature of your place or the city some also add up uh, custom it's like that uh, you see clock you're using cm where you have uh, you have the c clock you can just customize it so it has been uh, embedded in the status bar with the settings so it's like that also you can it was your weather over here or here there is style area there is a style area this area one uh, this is the area so you can show the number of tiles last first two tiles you can see the little quick settings on the lock screen if you can vibrate you can have a different tiles animation you can see the tiles animations switch it on this is the tiles animations so that's it for the quick settings now we have navigation bar so you can enable a digital navigation bar as for your need and you this uh, android one doesn't support other hand but one doesn't support uh, the hardware to bad book bad book bad button so the rest of the is needed this is the pulse so you, it, it will have a visualizer effect on your navigation body itself and there is hardware buttons so like advanced power button you can uh, keep pressing hold the power button to see the menu here you can customize and add some more options here that, that are given here you can the transparency of the uh, power to option menu as well also the volume dialog box control is the transparency level and everything also uh, make it uh, wake up the device every time you press the volume button at this distance of things you can give a new for recent like this you say this a new for recent from like a slim for uh here it is yeah you see that it will come like this you can have a quick quick apps here and your running apps here so it looks cool but uh, and your, uh, this is the basic one so you can also customize the various aspects of it there is a lock screen you can, uh, you can change the wallpaper you can uh, change the shortcuts of the bottom shortcuts 
uh, quick unlock uh, if you press the password you automatically unlock you don't have to press the check button you can set the wallpaper you can uh, choose to if you want to show the best weather on the last one or not you can always choose if you want to show the weather on the last one or not just get your options like if you uh, like anywhere guesses is like uh, in this small uh, window comes where you can just create a gesture and you can, so you can see that if you create a way it's like that you can assign different gestures for different apps and everything like that just mix options brightness control three finger swipe you can just uh, you know you can just uh, add any application you want for those gestures there's also this uh, this usual app settings display settings is usual So the reason I've been displays here to cup on charge I and mean, so you know there is no uh, is extra here that is which is just a column you can ties you can just uh, towards the ties like these the options that you can see this area is here and you can customize it if you want to make the storage space so what I want to do is use this two one to do this use so uh, I'll use the app uh, so Plus the GF, so that is taking spaces. So, so it's pretty good, so that's really good. And the class uh, separately, and it's also the Android SEM based uh, ROM set in built system root, but uh, it's an AOCP based, so it has a uh, root, uh, pre, pre rooted ROM. So, and it's like DU, you can see there's a chromium. There is no messaging app. The gallery looks there. It's very really similar to us. Uh, for DU, this camera looks like it first looks like it was different, but it was not actually. I think there is a basic uh, you can get with every other ROM. And something is funny is that you can see that it is a uh, uh, kind of circular edges of the you can see there is circular edges like there is a center mode voice in center mode is like that. You see the logo here everywhere. So it is pretty stable in this, but I want to uh, talk about some flaws. And that is of the data one. Uh, in SIM cards, to go there and to go into the no, no, not in SIM cards. If you go into the mobile network, then you can see that in access point it doesn't show any APN. So I manually added this ARCOM uh, APN, so it was not there by default. You can see if in Vodafone if I go here it shows nothing. So there is not uh, any pre-written APNs uh, inside the ROM so that can be a uh, problem for some people as uh, uh, you may not remember every single uh, cellular services uh, APN so that uh, can be an uh, issue. So I hope there is a patch for it in the upcoming days. So. Uh, it was uh, running good on the battery, it was not that much draining fast. Uh, currently, I'm charging the device, but uh, it was uh, not that fast at all. It was even, uh, you can see that before uh, doing it in charge, I was using it from over 19 to 21 hour. So, so battery person was not that uh, heavy draining, that's nothing like that. So, that's good. So, I think that's it for the, this round review. It's a good drone you can use it the day dialer. I haven't done any bug except that APM bug is going manual edit and the data works very fine. You see that with the switch down. Um, yes, you can see that the 3G logo, 3G logo is right. You can see that the data is working. So there is no problem with the data, but only the you have to manually add it. So, thank you guys for watching my video. Please hit the like button. I will see you in my next video.